Hi everyone, it's Maya here and today I'm showing you my Booktube on TBR. You all know that Booktube on is a readathon that takes place next week. I will leave a link to all the details and the videos down below. So let's jump right on to the reading challenges and the first challenge was to read a book with a person on the cover and for this I chose Diana Wynne Jones's Mixed Magics. It is a really small book of I think about four of her short story set in the Crestomancy universe. I've read most of the books in the Crestomancy loose series, but I still have a couple left and this is one of those. I thought a couple of short stories would be easy to read here and there during the Booktubeathon. For the challenge of finishing a book in one day, I chose Knight's Dominion by Ted Nafee. This is a fancy comic that just came out as a trade and I picked it up because I really enjoy Ted Nafee's series Courtney Crumrin. This is an adult fancy series while Courtney Crumrin is more like middle grade so I'm really interested to see. It, I think it's high fantasy and it has this traditional group of a thief, a bard, a mage, an acolyte and an assassin. I just bought this and I can't wait to read it. I've been wanting to read it but I've been saving it for Booktubeathon so I can finally get to it. I think I will read this first when the Booktubeathon starts. Then the next challenge was to read a book about a character who is very different from you. For this I chose Heroine Complex by Sarah Kuhn. This is a story about Evie Tanaka who is a half Japanese woman like the author and she is a superheroine's assistant living in San Francisco. The superheroine in question being Avada Jupiter who is her childhood friend and she is Chinese American I believe. I'm also reading this for the challenge of read a book you bought because of the cover. I first saw this book on Thomas's channel SFF 180 on one of his Mailbag Mondays where he goes through the new books that the publisher has sent him this was quite a while ago, but I bought this quite soon after watching that. It did sound like a lot of fun, the story itself, but I mainly bought it because of this gorgeous Jason Chan cover. I really love Jason Chan's work. For the challenge to finish a book completely outdoors, I chose an audiobook. This is a rare book of Cunning Device by Ben Aronovich. This is a short story in the Peter Grant series. And it only takes about 30 minutes to listen to, so I can easily listen to it during like a one walk or something. I didn't want to pick anything longer for that challenge because we've had a really cool summer in Finland this year. It's been cool, rainy, windy. It's been a bit better lately, but I wanted to be sure and read something quick to finish outdoors. Then is a challenge that I left for last because I'm not sure what I'm going to read for it yet. This is the challenge of reading a hyped book and I couldn't really come up with something that would be short so I have a couple of options for myself but I still haven't decided. I will decide when I've read all the other things. One of my options might be a bit like cheating. It is the Book of Phoenix by Nnedi Okorafor which I'm reading on my Kindle and the reason why it might be seen as cheating is because I've already read over half of this book. I think I'm 60% of the way through and I have about a hundred pages left. So if I want to sort of cheat, I might just finish that. But my other options are to read A Taste of Honey by Kai Ashante Wilson, which is a novella that I also have on my Kindle. And I think I can count it as a hyped book since it was a finalist for the Nebula, Hugo, Theodore Sturgeon and Locus nominations. And it's only 160 pages, so I might be able to read it. I also forgot to say that I consider the Book of Phoenix to be hyped because it was an Arthur C. Clarke nominated book and most of the people who have read it on Goodreads that I follow have given it four stars. And then I have a bit of an ambitious option which might be to read Illumine by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This is a young adult science fiction book that you might all know because this is the one that is the most hyped on booktube out of my options. This is like a 600 page book but since it's written in chats and interviews and all sorts of diagrams and stuff, it might be a quick read. So if I want to be ambitious, I might choose this one, but I'm not sure. I'll see how much time I have left. The seventh and final challenge would be to read seven books and I haven't picked anything for that yet. I have five books currently in my TBR pile, so I would need to add two books, so most likely those would be graphic novels. I could either pick a digital comic, I have a few digital comics that I got from different Humble bundles, I got a few from a Humble Indie book bundle and a few from Humble Bundle that had Boom comics in it, so I might read a couple of those. Or then I might read the fifth volume of The Wicked and the Divine by Kieran Gillen and Jane McKelvey, 
And if I read this one, I just bought this, I will also reread the fourth one. So that would make two comics and complete the seven book challenge. But I will only choose to read this if I'm really on the mood for it. And if I have a lot of time, because I don't want to rush through it. And since I most often enjoy this graphic novel series, I want to dedicate my time to reading it. So that might not be the best for the readathon, but on the other hand, if I feel like it, it's quick to finish. So that's my TBR for the Booktubeathon. As far as the video challenges go, I think I will not be doing them. I haven't done any during the past years. I usually don't have time for them, but I might vlog at least some of the days if I actually remember to vlog, because that's my main reason for never vlogging. I don't remember to actually do it on the days. So if I do remember, I will try to get at least one vlog of some of the days out and I will also be updating stuff on my Twitter at Maya Reads. So let me know in the comments if you are doing Booktubeathon as well and I hope all of us that are taking part have a really good time. That's all from me for today and I will see you in my next video. Bye!